everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices, one topic or one feature at a time in a consumable fashion. In today's video, we will be doing a comparison of the main screen selfie camera on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 versus the Galaxy Z Fold 7. Now, one thing you might be noticing right now is the difference of the camera setup on the main screen. On the Z Fold 6, it was a under display camera, which means that there is a display above the camera that would be able to blend in whatever you are looking at. So this is my homepage. So it's, it's covering up that camera sensor to make everything blend in. Same thing here. When I'm looking at this image there, it's going to blend in. Same thing there, but there's really nothing to show because it is just black. So what will happen with this is because there is no under display camera here, this is just a regular camera cutout, which gives you a much better image quality. It'll be much more clear and you have more features. So first off, just to show you the difference between these two, you can see how much more clear and also how much more of a wide angle shot I'm able to get with a regular camera cutout. Now on the Z Fold 6, this one does have a 85% degree selfie camera. And that is if you tap on that image of two people. So I did the same thing here. I tapped the image of two people and it gave me a 100 degree selfie image. So you can see just how much more you're able to capture and I'm holding the phone the same distance away. So this means that you'll get a much clearer image, much more detail when it comes down to the picture. It's able to pick up everything. You can see the entire name of Yankee Stadium over there and right over here it, it kind of cut it off at Yankee Stad. So there's a lot more that you're able to capture with a full camera cutout on the inner display of the Fold 7. Let me show you two other images and then let me show you all of the, the shooting modes you can do with this camera that you cannot do on the Fold 6. Here is image number two. This one's not as flattering of me, but that's okay. I'm just trying to show you the tech that is behind these two phones. When it comes down to this image here, I'm standing in the exact same position as I am here. Both of these images are taken within just a couple seconds apart. My arms at the exact same distance away. This weeping willow, I can't see the full entire thing, but this one I am able to. And you can also see that this one, at least for me, because I took the photo, it is a more accurate shot of the sky. It was more of a light blue than this darker blue that was over there. Also, when you take a look right here, and it could be because of the tree that it didn't capture the whole thing, uh, it didn't capture the light blue there. It's just all kind of white. So here we go, uh, the light blue, the white, light blue, and white. Now, if we take a look at this image here too, you can see that this was the type of color of sky I was looking for. It's that lighter blue. This kind of has a little bit of purplish that is you know, mixed in there. You can see almost my entire shirt. This one you can only see just from kind of my chest on up. This one you cannot see the entire pond. This one you can see the majority of all of it. You can even see that there's a ledge over here. You can see more of the tree over here and you can see all of the clouds and this one you can't. So again, when it comes down to the Fold 6 versus the Fold 7, if you're using your main inner display as a selfie camera, or you can just see how much better it is because it's a regular camera cutout with no overlay of display. Now let's quickly go inside of the camera because the differences are also here as well. So when it comes down, oh, you can even see me in this one, but you can't see me there. So here is your two shooting modes that you can do on the Z Fold 6. You can do a photo and you can do video. Over here, you can do portrait, you can do regular photo, you have video, and you also have more. So you can do all of these with the internal camera right there, this, this main display camera, that selfie camera, you can do all of this stuff here along with your portrait, but on the Z Fold 6, this is all you can do, photo and video. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out so you can see the differences between the Fold 6 and the Fold 7, especially with that full camera cutout right there. It gives you the full camera range versus having a under display camera where it kind of minimizes the quality and the features you're able to do. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, also famous, number one, desirable. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll.